warm welcome to you all from Buenos Aires to a venue which hardly requires an introduction. It is, of course, the world-famous Bombanera. And our live game is Argentina against Ivory Coast. This is Peter Drury, and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Hello, Peter, and hello to everyone watching. we go then. Mascherano looks it towards the front. Di Maria passes it through. That wasn't the greatest of balls. Now it's Higuain. has got good distance on that. Otamendi does well there, alert. Plays it out to the flank. Looks to slip it through. It's on a plate! Dybala. Di Maria with the ball through. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. He's made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Sahar. Lanzini. On the other side, especially adventurous early on. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's Gradle. Now the pass. Mascherano. Dybala. First quarter of an hour gone. Argentina so far providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Shot at goal! Decent enough try. Well, when it becomes that speculative, I think it requires something from the very top drawer, and he had to think a little bit more about that. In the end, he's just opted for raw power. So what now? Hoists it high. Aim forward. Looks like a good ball through. Messi looking to get on the end of this. Gradle out to the left it goes. Dashing forward at pace. Tries to stroke it through. Chance! Plenty waiting in the middle. It's a brilliant interception. Lanzini did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And back to base. Gets it upfield. Oh, good interception. Tries a through ball. Jovino. Defenders on the back foot. Thrust towards the front line. Tries to dink it in. It's Saha! Good stop, that wasn't easy. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Up to meet it! And oh, he's got that completely wrong. Well, one moment there, there was a little bit of space, Peter, they could have worked with, but the next it was it was shut down, and it was shut down extremely well. Dybala plays it out to the wing. Lanzini. Out to the left it goes. Looks like a good ball through. Now 
Now it's Iguain. Played out to the right. Iguain needed to come up with a better ball. The idea was good, though, Peter. I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Aimed long and direct. Ball's out on the left now. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. That was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. say that was an exemplary tackle stopped him dead in his tracks Otamendi boots it upfield a real chance to break great reaction oh, great save real class that wasn't the easiest of saves by any means Peter and I think his instincts were well they were just razor sharp firmly met that comes as a mighty relief Chavinho. Dybala. Oh, that's not going to make it. And it's half time here. So we reach the halfway point. Argentina ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Dybala. Who's going to make this theirs? it through fence has got rid of that final checks on the touchline a change about to occur Lanzini that's a half decent try it's unusual not to see him make the keeper work I mean his accuracy from that type of area is so often better Di Maria battles to win it back. It's a loose ball. Ivory Coast have a free kick. Ivory Coast have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but... What's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. It's a long forward pass. Jovino with the delivery. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Now the pass. And he's on his way! Taken goal, and that is the goal we've all been yearning for. Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside. And I think you have to praise them all around on that one from the pass and the finish. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, 
He's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Defending was strong and firm. And a well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Looks to slip it through. Zahar looking to get on the end of this. Not this time. Ivory Coast have players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. And it's been taken short. Oh, that's neat. Shapes to shoot. Sticks it away. And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're beaten. <laughs> Ivory Coast grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Crunching tackle. Tries a through ball. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Out wide to the right. Mascherano pumps it upfield. Spoon forward. Higuain has been caught there, it's a foul. Argentina seeking to maximise the moment. Well, he has great set-piece prowess. I think you know what's coming, but stopping it, another matter. Oh, what a save! He had a long way to go. Well, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck with real venom and I thought he dealt with it really well. He's had a look. Tries a long pass towards the front. Now the pass. And here's the chance to counter. Can he find a finish now? It's a goal! And the comeback is complete. Zaha showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. Ivory Coast go into the lead. Well, I think you can write this lot off at your peril. It's been a joy to watch them hold themselves. And he has been fouled there. Kone clearly cannot believe it, but he is off, and they're going to have to find a way without him. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew... Gorgeous! Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy! Unbelievable. Right back in it, almost no time remaining. Game still on. And he's produced a beauty. So all square and not for the first time. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. Spreads it wide. Chavinho looking to get on the end of this. Shapes the shoots. That really should have hit the net. Well, that's an illustration of how good they are on the break. I mean, all the pace of it. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Villa, Ivory Coast, uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move. Oh, 
take and win style. And they get themselves in front. An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of fuss. Ivory Coast get themselves into the lead. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. Goes long. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. Oh, no question, that's a foul. And it's Correa. the route one option plays it out to the wing Chavinho is looking up for options on the left turns and goes back Not the worst cross in the world but still room for improvement aimed long and direct Higuain Mauro Icardi it's an out wide and in space. Gets good distance on it. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. He scored! We thought it was over. It's all square once more. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Ivory Coast chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was... Mo and that's that. What a game. Wonderful stuff and the right result. Neither side really deserved to lose. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Listen, I think they certainly met their match here. Uh, there was a lovely ebb and flow to the encounter, but very little to choose between the teams, and so we've ended up with a, an entertaining...